Hey everyone, I'm Colleen Ballinger and today I'm going to try on my pregnancy clothes. Last year, I spent most of the year pregnant with my wonderful son. He was born December 10th of last year and he is literally the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm obsessed with him. He is my favorite little dude and he's my best friend and he's just a cute little muffin. But last year, he was inside of my body and it was extremely miserable. <gasps> Even though it was the most miserable experience of my life being pregnant, I'm so grateful I got to do it and it gave me the best thing that's ever happened to me, which is my baby. So because I didn't like my pregnancy experience and because it was so traumatic for me mentally I went through a lot of depression when I was pregnant I got rid of most of the things that had to do with my pregnancy because it was hard for me to see it around the house because it reminded me of such a hard time I don't have a lot but I did force myself to keep a few clothing items because when I was throwing everything away I felt like I was going to regret if I threw absolutely everything away I kept my pregnancy test and I kept a few of the dresses alrighty so we have this number, which is just like a maroon stretchy dress. The reason this dress is actually kind of cool is because I wore this in the Thank You Next music video, Ariana Grande's music video. I was a cheerleader in that music video, but I also start off the music video and I say, one time on Twitter, I heard Ariana Grande was pregnant, so I got pregnant so we could be pregnant at the same time. Turns out it was just a rumor. That was my one line. And I was wearing this dress with a jean jacket. So let's try it on and see how it looks now that I am not pregnant. Oh, this is actually kind of cute. I like yeah, it. I was gonna say. Like, this is kind of nice. Pregnancy gave me a booty. It's done. Booty, 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 rock it like a whale. Rock it like a whale? I like, I like it. this dress. She's cheap. One tip I would give y'all pregnant women out there if there's any pregnant women watching. Don't buy clothes in the maternity store. Go to like Forever 21. You just find stretchy dresses. Like this I think was $10. Whereas at a maternity store, this would be like 100 Go to those cheap stores and get really stretchy dresses. Tip of the trade. Tip of the trade? I don't know, what's the phrase? Tip of the trade? What's the phrase? Tip of the trick of the trade. Is it that? Yes. Trick of the trade. <laughs> Tricks of the trade. What does that mean? It's like a trick of the, like the tra trade, trade secret, like, you know. In this case, the trade would be buying and wearing maternity dresses. That's, that's not a trade. Okay then, tip of the trade. <laughs> is a dress I wore a lot. I actually had two versions of this dress, one with buttons and one without buttons. So I wore this to a lot of meet and greets and a lot of my shows because it was comfortable and it's a breathable soft material. Let's see how it looks on me now. This one I wore all the freaking time. You remember this one, right? They're, don't, love, they're all the same. They're literally all look exactly the same to me. Love! It's that kind of dress, stretchy dress and stripes. I don't like this dress at all. Frank, I'm <laughs> the next one is this dress. This is a dress that I wore in a lot of my shows. Stage, I was touring for a lot of my pregnancy and I had to find dresses that were stretchy. This one's really stretchy. We called this my R2D2 dress because it kind of looks like that. It kind of smells, but I am excited to see what it looks like now. Let's try it on. R2D2. R2D2. I feel like I still look pregnant in this. <laughs> Shut up. It's kind of cute. Like, I feel like I would wear this again in a show. I remember when I was like 12 weeks pregnant or something and I had this much of a bump and I was like, I look so pregnant, they're all gonna know. You remember that when I had a bump Was like it this dress? No, there was a silver one. Yeah. I remember I had a bump, like it was literally this size. Yeah. And I was like, they're all gonna know I'm pregnant. But even still, someone did take a picture of it and like draw an arrow to it. I was like this in the picture, I'm like, so I'm in the picture. Next dress. This is an iconic Colleen Ballinger is pregnant outfit. I, like I mentioned, was really miserable when I was pregnant. It was hard to find anything that fit me, that I felt good in. And this is one of the few items that I bought that I wore to death. I wasn't photographed very often in this, but I wore this all the time. And I remember this being super tight on me last time I wore it. Let's see what it looks like now. This is huge. Oh wow. You wore that one a lot too. I wore this all the time. You wore this one where you were like super pregnant yeah, and you would, tight? you would, yeah, and you would just hobble around. This was like so tight. Oh, wow. I remember like being able to see my underwear line because it was so tight and now it's like, it's huge. This is really crazy. I mean, it was like skin tight on my tummy. That's so crazy. I feel like you still rock that. Some like cowboy boots and a fedora. What are you talking about? Style. Fashion! I love a fedora though. Ooh. Guys, Photoshop a fedora and cowboy boots on her. This is one of my favorite dresses that I wore when I was pregnant. I wore it a lot in the middle of my pregnancy when I was on tour. I wore it for a lot of meet greets. I thought this was really cute and cozy, so I kept it because I think I could wear this not pregnant. Let's see what it looks like. Pew. Not pregnant. It's 
Mm, I love that dress. Do you remember this one? Yeah. Do you know where this one was? I feel like I you picked, I picked this out yeah. in like a or Urban Outfitters, Outfitters or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's funny is I feel like this dress was more flattering when I was pregnant than it is now. Like I would never wear this. Boobline rise. Pregnant looks so small in this, what are you talking about? Yeah, I, I don't think I'd ever wear this now. But I love this dress when I'm pregnant. This dress is actually one of my best friends, Christina. She, when I got pregnant, she let me borrow it. And then she got pregnant shortly after. And I'm a really rude friend because I should have given this back to her. Christina, I'm sorry, I still have your dress. But I do love this dress and I have a lot of pictures in it. So I wanted to try it on. It's an extra small. That's wild. I need to try, I need to hold it because I need to do this in the bathroom. Let's go. This is so bizarre, putting on these clothes. I feel like so, I've only ever seen myself in these clothes when I was pregnant, so I'm like, oh my God, I look so tiny. This is really a bizarre experience. One of the last things I was photographed in was a Jojo Siwa gymnastic top and little tiny pajama booty short things. Now, the reason I was wearing this is because I filmed a video with my sister testing out like Jojo Siwa bath products. I thought I still had a few more weeks before I was gonna have the baby, so it's the last video that was on my channel before I had him. And it's like the last pictures of me before I had him. I think it was like two nights later I had the baby. All I know is that when I put this on last time, I had to roll it up because it wouldn't fit over my tummy. So now I think it will fit over my tummy, my extra skinny. Oh my God, you guys, I just realized something. I am literally so skinny because I have so much skin. I'm so skinny. You know when people say that? They're like, oh my God, I'm so skinny. I'm literally so skinny because I literally have so much skin. Like I am skinny. Look at this. Look at all this skin, y'all. She is so skinny. So much skin, she's a skinny legend. Skin, 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 skin. This is where the baby was chilling. So there's like all this extra skin here. And I think it's just kind of gonna always be there. Like no matter what I do, I think I'm just gonna have all this skin, which is super cool. It's a rite of passage and I am so skinny. Skin, knee, somebody woke up from a nap. Oh, you're so cute! All right, I am in the JoJo outfit. And then this top does actually fit all the way down, but I rolled it up because that way it will match the original better. How do we do with the before and after, guys? Did you like the before and after? Can you believe you were in my tummy? You smell like pee pee and maybe a little poop squirt. Flynn, did you barf on mommy? Ew. It's been my toe crevices. Flynn. Guilty. This is another staple item I wore pretty much every day when I was pregnant. These are really baggy overall thingies. They were really, really expensive. I don't spend a lot of money on clothes, but girl, maternity stores are so expensive. Like they steal, they bamboozle these pregnant women. It is so freaking rude because these pregnant women were already miserable, were already tired, were already like Dress, and then you're gonna make us pay $100 for baggy kind of ugly overalls? Like, who do you think you are? Anyway, I kept them because they were expensive. Let's try them on and see what they look like. All right, I'm in the overalls. They are massive. Look at the overalls. They look so weird. You remember when he was in here and it was like this tight, love? Yeah. You've been in these overalls more than once, Flynn. There we go. He's a little bit bigger now than the last time he was in these overalls. Say next outfit, next outfit. This dress I kept because I did a maternity shoot in it and I really loved this dress. It's really soft material and it has a cute like fringy look on the bottom. I actually bought this from an Instagram ad. Instagram be listening to my conversations and it likes to hear everything I say and then try to force me to buy things I'm talking about. And one day it was listening to me cry and talk about how nothing fit me and I couldn't find clothes that I liked when I was pregnant. And the next day this was on Instagram and I loved this dress. I have not worn it since I was pregnant. Let's try it on and see. Oh <laughs> yeah, one? I remember this one. You wear this one a lot. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's cute. Like if it was tight here, like if it fit me. You know what's cute. you know what's wild is that it's like super loose on your arms. My arms is remember when it's tight. I feel like it's cute. I loved this dress. I wore it all the time when I was pregnant. We're gonna try to recreate this picture. Oh, excuse my hidden layer diamond plaque is here. Just ignore that. <laughs> when I was like this, I was like trying to be cute by touching my hair. We got it, we got it. This is just a black maternity dress. I actually don't think I ever wore the black version of this, but I wore it in red and in green a lot. And I'm pretty sure I got rid of the red and the green one. I still have this black one. I don't know why I kept this one and not the other ones when I wore the other ones and I didn't wear this one. But anyway, okay, so let's try this on. There's no bump. 
Do you remember this dress? You don't remember this one? What's Do you remember in maroon? In maroon, yeah. But I never really yes. wore the black one. Why would you ask me if I remember it if you it never wore it? Same style. It's not the same style. <laughs> it's not the same style. Hey, kind of, it's cute a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of Duggar-ish. <gasps> Dugger! Ugh. Okay. There's one picture I posted on Instagram of me wearing James Charles merch, sister's apparel um, pants. So I'm gonna try that again. I am breastfeeding and my tatas are the biggest they've ever been because there's so much milk in them. So I'm actually gonna double up with two little bralettes because otherwise y'all are gonna see all the bits and you don't wanna see that. And we don't want any milk squirting out today. So let's try this. I'm a little nervous about it. But, uh, he just barfed. I was trying to take the same picture I took oh, in the mirror. I think I got something that works. Booty. Do we look sister snatched? These are cozy pants. They were real tight when I was pregnant, that's for sure. Hey, baby. Hi, sisters, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. There you go, that was me trying on all of my pregnancy clothes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you wanna see me do next. Don't forget to get tickets to my tour. I am so excited to come and see you guys and hug you guys on tour again. Remember that you are beautiful, your body is amazing. I have grown such a huge appreciation for the female body since I endured pregnancy and childbirth. Holy smokes, your body is so cool. Whether you've had a baby or not, your body's amazing and you are beautiful. Big girls, little girls, medium-sized girls, skinny girls, curvy girls, six straight girls, all the girls. You are beautiful. I love your body because your body does a lot for you. It deserves some love and affection and appreciation. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching this video. Peace out.